Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about thermal pollution. Are you ready? Let's begin! Thermal pollution is a type of environmental pollution that occurs when there is significant change in the temperature of a natural body of water. Bodies of water that can be affected are rivers, lakes, or oceans. Thermal pollution occurs due to human activities. This change in temperature can have harmful effects on the aquatic ecosystem. Imagine you have a fish tank at home with some fish and plants. The water in the tank has a certain temperature that is just right for the fish and plants to live happily. Now think about what would happen if you suddenly added hot water to the tank. The temperature would go up, right? This sudden change in temperature could make it difficult for the fish and plants to survive. Now think about a river or a lake where many plants and animals live. If people release warm water into the river or lake, it can change the temperature of the water. This change can be harmful to the plants and animals that are used to a specific temperature range. Humans can cause thermal pollution in various ways. For example, industries sometimes release hot water into rivers as a byproduct of their processes. Power plants also generate heat when they use water for cooling and then release the warm water back into nearby water bodies. These activities can disrupt the natural balance of temperature in the water, making it harder for aquatic life to thrive. To recap, thermal pollution is like changing the temperature of a fish tank, but on a larger scale in rivers, lakes, and oceans. It can harm the plants and animals that depend on the right water temperature to survive and can have negative effects on the entire ecosystem. Now here are fun facts about thermal pollution. Fish preferences Some fish species are more sensitive to temperature changes than others. Thermal pollution can alter the distribution of fish in a water body, favoring species that can tolerate high temperatures and potentially displacing those that cannot. Cold water creatures Cold water species like certain types of trout are particularly vulnerable to thermal pollution. Warmer water can reduce the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water, making it difficult for these species to survive. Altered breeding seasons Thermal pollution can disrupt the reproductive cycles of aquatic organisms. Salmon are an example of fish that often rely on temperature changes for breeding. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about thermal pollution today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!